you guys remember uh, in 2019 no. when Tate made the <laughs> yeah. video to me and my brother? Oh, no. Well, Did you guys know me then? No. So I'm, I'm not going to post the video or we're not going to put it in the podcast. But I remember when Mason got into his. Okay, so, bro, 2019. Okay, so I had like just made my Twitter that. account. Yeah. Um, I had just bought a BMW. I had like my big <laughs> month in my agency. So I bought this Beamer and was like, I'm the shit. I'm like, I'm like hot shit now. So me and my brother post this douchebaggy picture. And I, I didn't even know who Tate was. At the time, he had like 30K followers on Twitter. Yeah. And all that I knew of them was like these dudes that wear leather jackets with like a used <laughs> Aston Martin. The Bugatti and talk about Star Wars. pimping yeah. hoes online. That's yeah. all I knew. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I personally just did not resonate with that value wise. So I was like, I've always spoke my mind clear. And, like you guys know this. Like, yeah. It's got me in trouble. But like I will always say what I believe. And I post a picture and I said, there's new brothers in town and they don't run webcam businesses. I didn't even tag. <laughs> and it fucking blew up. I'll sh- remind me and I'll show you guys a video. Because um, you guys didn't know me then. But that's what uh, initially that kicked bad. my brand off. Was I had so... it got it got Like now you can see views on videos. Yeah. You couldn't then. Probably got millions of views. Because he made a response video in a 720S and challenged me and my brother to a fist fight and to an <laughs> IQ test and was going to fly us to <laughs> Romania and stream it on TV. Like, oh, I'll show you the shit. video. You, dude, it's imagine crazy. if you took him up on that. Missed opportunity, well, bro. <laughs> so that's why I started training. That's yeah. why I started fighting was because I, like, I know one day, like, again, similar to those two, I will know one day that I will, he's messaged me before, like, nice stuff before he got banned the first time on his account. Um, but I know one day I will meet him and I want to be ready to be like, yo, do you remember this video? Like, let's do it. Like, in a respectful, like, mutual way. Good luck. Like, that's a cool thing. Our buddy Bailey is this video guy, and he boxes with him every day and gets his shit rocked. Yeah. So, have fun. I'll have a blast, bro. Um, I, I love that shit. So, yeah, super cool. Damn, bro. That was way back. So you're saying that kickstarted a lot of your brand online. Especially on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. And was Twitter the first platform that you really started to grow on? Or? Yeah, because Instagram growth, remember when they made all their changes initially yeah. and Instagram just went the to shit? Was so like I was always posting, order. but I never I never got growth on there. It was just like documenting. But Twitter was where I popped off. Like that video probably got me to a thousand followers. And then over that next year, probably 2,000 from just posting in the trenches sales stuff. Yeah. And then I think you guys probably met me online when I was around 4K or so. Um, and then just went crazy after that. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this short clip, check out the full interview here. And if you want to see more clips from this episode, check it out right here.